Hello friends, today I'm going to make this 8.5 by 11 um, inches uh, journal page on recycled um, paper, brown paper that goes on top of uh, newspapers. And I cut it down to 8.5 by 11 inches. So what I have here is some watercolor paper, a few splashes of acrylic. Uh, I was on the phone doodling. This is kind of just scrap paper that, you know, normally you probably throw out. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use a few products here that are found in stores. This is a watercolor crayon cheap one. Um, they sell, sell these in Target. And so I'm just going to use a few of these. Target brand watercolor paper uh, um, crayons. They move in in uh, with water. With any brush you can use uh, with water on it. So I'm just going to scribble that on. Um, also, too, you can any kind of wet material like gesso, you can move it, or wet paint like a white paint or something like that. And I thought it would be really fun today to kind of play around and see what I can get for a background here. And putting some gesso on and making some interesting color maybe picking up with the with the gesso so this color would be maybe picked up which I'm gonna test. So just grabbing some colors, drawing them in there. And I think I'll throw more a little bit more purple in here too. And yeah, this should be good. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to really wet a large brush. No, actually, um, yes, I'm going to wet a bit of a large brush here. And I'm going to grab my gesso. And with the moist brush, I'm just going to spread some of my gesso around and hopefully pick up some of this color and see what I get. There's a little bit of the yellow coming through. So it moves with water or moisture so that's what's the way I was trying to get some color in my background here with some of these cheap but really interesting um, water soluble crayons that you can get at Target and you can use any kind brands it doesn't have to be a Target brand but it's just moving gesso which kind of picks up the background color and I think it's neat so even though I had some scribbles and some paint on here it um, kind of just disappears a little bit behind this and sometimes you can see it depending on how much you want to add to it I'm just having fun with this Moving it around. And I think that's just the way I want it right there. That's a way of moving some nice color through it. Getting kind of a cloudy effect. I use a big soft brush. This page is fairly dry and this is where I got a nice cool neat um, look. You can do this for card fronts and that kind of thing too. Um, there's so many different ways to do a journal page. You can do um, collages with paper or layers of paint. Now I'm going to do another layer of gesso and I'm just going to use my finger. This gesso is um, from Deco Art. I'm just going to use my finger here and just now move it around but not squish, not, not get that um, color moving again. I could work it, really work it and get that color moving again, but I just want to get a bit of the pattern off of this um, stencil. You can use any stencil. This one's from Deco Art as well. <laughs> This is the kind of whimsical look I got so far. I'm going to add with a smaller um, stencil, the same um, brand of DecoArt. Um, so 
I'm just going to add more. And it's not a perfect um, stance like a piece because I just did it with my fingers and pushed it around. And of course, it's going to get under and all around like that. And so, if you want perfect, you want to use a brush that um, has the thick bristles. Let's see if I have one on here something like this to bristle to um, we'll do a little piece inside here just to show you to make it just dabbing it in and you get more of the perfect look for the next part of my journal page um, I'm going to draw something I want to use I want to draw a type of bird looking like it's soaring, but it's more of a modern style. So I'm going to cut it out. And so you can make this. Now, this is my page. I have layers of gesso, um, my water soluble crayons, and now I made a mask out of the brown paper as well. Now, with this mask, you could just put it on whatever shape you want. And there's different ways to do a layout. You could do layers of paper, you could do layers of paint, you could do layers of just all different recycled scraps, but this time I want to do layers with the watercolor, paper, a little mixed media, a little mixed up stuff, and then do an acrylic top. So that's what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a teeny bit of glue, and some of the corners are popping up a bit. I'm just going to add a little spot, just a spot right by the beak enough just to hold it down and tack it down, but not enough to keep it on the project permanently. And now I'll just tack it down. And we're going to put a finish on this anyhow, so then it'll, um, the glue will be fine. It won't matter. It won't show. I'm just going to move it to where I want it, tack it down on the pieces that are just sticking up a little bit. And then put my acrylic paint on this top. particular um, page. I'm going to use um, acrylic paint by Deco Arts called Coastal Coastal Waters. And I'm just going to make sure that I paint with a wet. Start with a wet brush, and I'm going to paint away from the edge of my mask, so I don't get any paint underneath. And it's nice and tacked down a little bit but nothing too permanent. And this is a fun part that you can add and recycle things. Here's some magazine words and you can use this um, for your background. I just picked a bunch of words here. We can we can either use stamped images to, or stamped letterings or stamped words to make something. And we could just grow, write something here in here too. So let's see, so grow, um, you know, to new heights, move to new heights. We can do that. And we just use um, old magazines and whatnot to um, add, let's see, to add something for our journal here. You don't have to purchase writing, purchase letters. Um, move to um, new heights. Perhaps that would be something that you'd want to write. Um, inspiration. So you can always use um, magazine, newspaper, um, writing, print. have a Sharpie um, peel off China marker and I could just go along and just sketch along the bird. I can use different kind of markers. Um, they have Pasca markers as well in all sorts of colors. Um, anything that you wish to give a try, you can try that out. I think it gives it a bit, makes it pop. I'm doing it a little sketchy here. Not perfect. I like the look.
can find these in most um, craft stores um, or even office supply stores, these sharpies. And there we go. Doodling that in. Maybe a little gold, gold brush. Um, and just put a little bit of that on my finger. Could add a little gold hint to it. Although it's going to have it maybe with the blue or the, the teal. I actually will change my mind and go with the cosmic um, blue. Because I don't want it to turn too green. So I'm going to go... Um, if these are a little dry, you can wet your fingers and just uh, add a little color. And then we'll put a little bit of cosmic blue to catch some of the pattern here. And that is my page. This one's very light, loose, and um, fun, I think. I hope you enjoyed this one. Just go back and forth as much as you wish. Darken anything up. Make it pop. And enjoy your your time with it. It's supposed to be relaxing and just take away any stress and just have fun with it even if you're not stressed. Just have fun with it. And this, this is just a few things you can use with this. You can use um, some wax crayons, watercolor crayons to do these doodles, anything like that too. Whatever you have at home to start off with, you can use. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick, little, fun um, layout. What actually I'm going to do before we go is put a little Mod Podge on it. I'm using that Mod Podge. I've got a big bucket here. Usually I transfer it to a smaller one, but I haven't done that yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it into my brush into the container. And put my Mod Podge in there. I'm just starting off in my bird just because. No reason for it. Just going around. Seal my, my words in there and give it a nice look. And this is the matte, so it's not too shiny. You can go glossy if you like that look. And this Mod Podge will dry nice and clear. There we go. Easy as that. Recycled paper for the background. Recycled um, newsprint. Um, the mask was recycled. You can use any stencils you want. You can even make your own. And pick up gesso or use white paint if you don't have gesso. White acrylic paint from any store that you like to shop at. And there I go. That is it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed that. Move to new heights. Bye.